Alright guys, welcome back. So, we are almost to Santoro. So it is the magic city. Like the magical people city. Totally, like, forgot. But, we're here. So I'm hoping something pops up. Okay, yeah. Yay! Cassius, we need to use the expunction device. What are you doing? Hold on a second. No time. Stop right there! You can't physically use it! What do you mean we can't? It's not functioning at the moment. We're still trying to determine the optimal way to fix it. <sighs> Why did it have to break now of all times? If you're in a hurry, might I suggest using the one in the Ancient Institute instead? There's one there? Of course. Most of the devices here are reproductions of ones in the Ancient Institute. <sighs> Thanks a bunch, Cassius. I love you. Come on, we need to make for the Ancient Institute. We've got no other recourse, I guess. Let's book it. The Ancient Institute. Uh oh. I hear that. I don't like the sound of that. What the hell is that? No, I wouldn't. Who's that? General Alma. As part of Cronus's militant faction, General Alma. the galaxy's most wanted list. How kind for someone of his stature to greet us. So, he's behind all of this. Fidel! Relia? But how can that be? Sis! So the the one he has is the one we know. Silic to realize the instrument you have is not really a. What? The one in your possession is Feria, and it is the foundation upon which Kronos is to build its new world order. It also differs from the unit you hold so much extraneous affection for. Thus, I doubt you will mind returning it. Why is a famous general fighting in the galactic equivalent of some backwoods Hicks family feud? Interesting question. I could ask the same of you, Captain Kenny. Hold. Oh, just how do you expect to save little Miss Starlight from all these heavily armored troops? If all the reports I have received on you are correct, well, I believe your name is Fidel. So, Fidel, if you possess even a modicum of sympathy for that thing, stand right there and don't move. Retrieve ferry for me. Mickey! Damn. No! 
I know that life. Activate the neutralization device. Uh-oh. So, the boy is the catalyst after all. Fascinating. With some modifications, we should be able to draw even more power from her. Bring her here! We'll be taking Feria with us. Thank you for holding on to her, Fidel. Due to your act of kindness, we were able to collect precisely the data we needed. <laughs> Take us away. Damn. He owned us. The Institute. Oh, and the, apparently the Institute's on fire. Looks like they we're going back to, to Central. <clears throat> now she's not even in the same sector as us. Isn't there something we can do to save Relia? Anything at all? We'd have to get our ship back before we could do anything else. And how long will it take for you to get it back? It's scheduled to arrive in a day at the earliest, but we'll likely arrive in two. Then all we can do is wait. Wait. This is a problem between the Federation and Kronos. There's no need for you Fakridians to get involved. It's too late for that. Don't take it the wrong way. She was thinking of your well-being when she said that. If you come with us, then... If we go with you... Then... You may never be able to return to this planet again. Even if we do save Lilia. We might never see our home again? <sighs> if you wish to join us, be prepared for that eventuality. Those of you who remain undeterred can assemble in Santoro. Understood. Okay. You've already made up your mind. Haven't you, Fidley? Yeah. I'll always follow your lead wherever you take us. Maybe it'd be a good idea to return to Stall first. I'll let you choose the way. Cuz if we go with them, we can't unsee what we see, so we can't just stroll back to our place. We'd have to become like I guess space warriors, you know. And that type of deal. Kenny here. Captain, our vessel will be arriving in Fakrid 4 Sector in approximately 17 hours from now. Contact me again once you enter orbit. Do you think Fidel and the others will come? What would you do in my shoes? Would you be so eager to conduct research in an unknown land? If it meant possibly throwing everything away and never coming home? <sighs> I bet you would. That's why you're not here now. If a true researcher somehow dropped a valuable piece of evidence into a bottomless pit, he'd jump right in after it without thinking a whit about his own safety. <laughs> right? What a poor excuse. I wonder if he believes it. Damn. Everybody's trying to As figure out. Rusulian officer, I have a responsibility to care for my subordinates and protect the country from harm. It would be wrong to forget that. On the other hand, what of Fidel? I can't in good conscience abandon my mentor's own son. Please, Master. I need your guidance. What would you do in my shoes?
fiddly you do recall when you guys took me in, right? Yeah. So many were killed. Like Papa and Mama and more. Not to forget your own mom. Because that wicked illness beset our little town. It was disastrous. I know I was certainly at wit's end. But then you said these words. I'll take care of you like Kim. Dry those tears. Oh. Right? <laughs> Stop that blushing here. <laughs> <laughs> my dad was always in other lands. And my world lacked structure. That taking care of you is why I'm still here today. You think so? I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> <laughs> we're no longer little kids now. No, we're not. Well, then, can we, uh, sort of, kind of? I don't want to. Stay your sister any longer. Aww. Well then, I'll stop being a big brother to you. Then can I call you Fidel now? Works for me. All right, Fidel. Here on out, I won't allow any people to hurt you. I should, I should say that, not you. He's gonna pull her like that. Let's go. Our pals will want us back soon. Oops. 